Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little different. Yes, it's still me. I just look a little bit more done up, dramatic looking. I haven't done something like this in a really long time, especially on this channel. I'm so excited to show you guys how I did this look. I really wanted to do a fun transformation type video. I've been seeing this trend all over TikTok and I wanted to bring it here because you guys are my homies. I'm not a makeup artist in any type of way, okay? I'm just putting it out there. I just really wanted to do something fun and exciting. So I hope that you guys are up for it. Wait, hold on, you guys have something on you. All right, now we can go ahead and get started. I'm so sorry if I scared anyone with that transition. If I can turn from this to that, you guys know that I'm doing something right. This ain't it. I already put on my moisturizer, so now I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. I'm trying to be more gentle with my face. If you guys see anything on my face, like the blemishes, my friend that comes monthly came to visit. That's why. I'm gonna put on our primer, and I'm just using It Cosmetics Primer. Just a little bit of that. So for our foundation today, we're gonna use the Too Faced Peach Perfect in the color Nude. If you guys know me, I like to mix the Fenty Beauty's foundation and the Too Faced together. This is like my favorite combo. Start off with this. I'm gonna go put that all over. Okay, I don't know how to do makeup, I try. I have my sponge and I wet it so it's nice and damp and I'm gonna pat it all over my face. First layer, done. Guys, I broke my Fenty Beauty pump. I don't know what happened, I dropped it and then once it broke, I can't fix it. I had to like open it up now, ratchet. So now that we have our imperfections nice and covered, we're gonna go ahead and do the brows. You guys have seen me do these brows so many times. Just go ahead and do my brows and we'll be right back since you guys have seen it so many times. All right, so now that we have our brows on nice and defined, we're gonna work on our eyes. And my inspiration for my eye color that I wanted to do today was actually from Motor Combat. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Freaking awesome, it's so cool. I know I'm nerding out right now, but I used to play the games a lot and I watched the movies that they had back then. It's amazing, I really like Sub-Zero. Let me know, what team are you on, Sub-Zero or Scorpion? When I say that it took me forever to find a palette with some color, so hard because I usually just wear like nudes. Finding a palette that just had color in it was a mission. But I did end up finding it. This BH Cosmetics palette. Surprised I still have it, but it looks like this. And it has color in it. I'm gonna prime our eyes. I'm excited. I need a base color, so this one in this palette. Now that we have that all over our eyes, we're gonna use the light blue first. Let's see how that turns out. Putting that on the top of my lid. <laughs> this reminds me back in high school days where I used to wear blue eyeshadow. Did you guys used to wear blue eyeshadows too? That was like the beginning of my makeup stage. I used to wear like blue eyeshadow and eyeliner, just the bottom of my eyes and ooh, that was just not the business. Let's just add more blue. I'm gonna go into the dark blue. Same brush. Okay. I can't even tell that blue, so I'm gonna try this blue. That, that's very strong. That's a very strong blue. Wow. Oh my god. I don't know if that's a look. Guys, it's, it's starting to look really bad. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, but we're gonna try to blend this out with a clean brush. So let's try to cut it out. Let's see if this will help. I don't think it's helping. Oh my God, I don't know what the hell I am doing. I'm gonna try the other side. We'll see if that works. Cause right now it's just looking like a mess. Okay, so now that we look crazy on both sides of the eye, what I did was just take this little blue color right over here and put that in the outer V and I'm just blending that out. We're just gonna trust the process. If the intro of this look 
looks nice, then we gotta trust that this is gonna turn out okay, right? Actually, I'm gonna go in with the silver color right over here. Let's go with the lighter silver for now. It's not too bad, right? I really wanna tone down the blue though. It's a little much. Let's do some of that darker silver on the outside. This glittery silver right over here on the outer V. This is what I said. I'm not a makeup artist and I, I'm not trying to be at all. Excuse the weird face expressions too, by the way. I don't know why. It's not just me, I promise. Wow, this is dramatic. I don't know where you would wear this look to. Maybe Halloween? Let's just blend it out. So now I'm gonna put this white glitter right there in the inner corners of my eyes. If dramatic transformation is what I was going for, I definitely did that. We got that done. Let's put on some eyeliner, see if that helps. So I have my NYX liquid eyeliner right here. Lately I've been using a lot of brown, but we're gonna go back to black because of this look. Just gonna do my normal wing liner. Bruh, we have our crazy eyeliner on. I went way too thick, but it's too late because once you go thick, you can't go back, you know? So let's do the bottom of our eyes. This brush right here and work on the bottom of my eyes. So I definitely want to go back to that darker silver color and put that on the outside of my eyes. So I'm mixing these colors like that and putting in that right underneath the eye. So I remember that I had some glitter from Estila that I want to try out. I'm going to take some of that and put it on my eyes. Okay, so now that we have our dramatic eyeshadow on, it's time for our lashes, and I can't wait to show you guys these magnetic lashes that were sent to me by a company called Blushberry Beauty. They were so kind enough to send me one of their pairs, and I'm so excited to use them. Look how pretty they are, and it comes in so many different styles. The one that I am using is the Paparazzi. It has five magnets on them. You know they're gonna be secure for sure, and I'm happy to say that these are cruelty free eyelashes as well so I can't wait to try them on to see what it looks like the lashes comes with their own magnetic eyeliner and that's how the lashes stick to your eye I normally just like to put on my eyeliner first before I add this one on just because I don't want to waste it and look how cute the packaging is it's like this really pretty pink color Ooh, super smooth eyeliner I've used magnetic eyelashes before and the eyeliner was super thick so I'm glad this one's like runny and it looks like a normal eyeliner. So we're just gonna apply it where my waterline is. That was so easy to apply. It's like a regular eyeliner, super smooth to apply to your waterline. So now we're just gonna wait and let that dry before we add on our lashes. So now that your eyeliner has dried, you're gonna add on your lashes. You're just gonna grab your lashes and pop it onto your eyes. Guys, that was so easy. Like, that's so much easier than putting on regular eyelashes where you have to put on the glue, let that dry, get that tacky. You know, normally when you put it onto your eyes, it doesn't go exactly where you want it to go. And this just goes to your eyelids so much easier. That barely took like a second. So we're gonna do the other side now. And it's on. That really just changed the game of this whole look. Ooh, they're really, really pretty. You would think that if you wear some magnetic lashes that it would be heavy. I normally wear falsies all the time and I really don't feel the difference. They're like stuck on there. And the great thing about it, if I cry, it's not gonna come off. I am loving it. So now that we have that on, we're gonna go ahead and put on our mascara. It's using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. I definitely like it more than the other ones. The bristles are really small, so it gets the bottom of my lashes because they're just non-existent. 
So for concealer, I usually use the Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm running out of it. This will do for now. It's a lot lighter, but it works. You guys are probably like, damn girl, you use a lot of makeup products. Normally, don't get ready like this no more. Like, I haven't gotten ready like this dramatic in a very long time. Now it's time for bronzer, and I'm just using Milk's Makeup Bronzer. It looks like this. It looks like a huge lipstick. You guys are looking for a tutorial. This is not a tutorial at all. This is just a get ready with me, seeing if I can transform myself to someone totally different. Time to blend. Gotta put a lot of bronzer to cut out my face because I just have a really fat face, okay? I have a really like wide nose, so I try my best to make it look like I have a bridge. Where would I wear this look to? Like a music event? That's the only place that I'm thinking that you could wear this look to that people won't look at you crazy. So now that we have our bronzer on, we're gonna have to put on our blush. So I'm using Milani's blush. Almost done guys, we're just gonna put on our highlighter. Just to seal this look in, we're gonna use this transparent powder in the color transparent. Put a little bit on the lid. Big fluffy brush and just dab that all over my face. All right, so since this look is already dramatic, I think I'm just gonna go in with like a nice nude lip. So it's been a couple of hours now and these lashes are still staying on fairly strong. So I want to put it to the ultimate test and take my blow dryer and see if I can blow the eyelashes off. It's still on super strong. It's not going anywhere. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself a pair, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description box for you. Grab yourself a pair because you guys are going to love it. There's so many different styles, like I said. So yeah, check it out. All right, guys. So that's the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it's very dramatic, definitely different from what I'm used to, but it was really fun to do and try out like different colors and different techniques. So anyways, if you guys liked it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, if you haven't done so already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!